What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, let's talk about the print rates for the current Soulbound reward cards. Now, hopefully, fingers crossed, we only have a couple more months of these cards being printed. Uh, the team said that they wanted to get a switch over to the Rebellion cards, a uh, Rebellion Soulbound reward cards at some point over the summer. So, you know, we're sitting here mid-March. Let's hope that we can get it by June or July at the very latest. Now, that being said, you can see here, and I'm not going to compare this to where, uh, you know, things are at for other reward cards, because the main thing that I actually want to focus on is the fact that with the rewards update going live, hopefully at the beginning of next month, April 2nd is when they're planning to kind of do the second half of this ranked overhaul. First, it was actually ranked play. Next, it's going to be the reward uh, reward overhaul. What is going to be available is the ability to dust your cards, meaning that you can burn your extra cards. And instead of burning them for DEC, you get to burn them for the reward points or glints, I think is the term that they're going to use. So when you have all these extra glints, people will be able to use that for other things, right? And I, I, here's the thing. Will people be burning them? If your options are within the, uh, within the store, if your options are to burn a lot of the potentially extra cards that you have that are just sitting there in exchange for more cards or chances at other cards that you desperately need, I think people would do it if it's for energy, meaning that you can essentially take your cards that are not providing any value to you right now because they're sitting extra or maybe they're gold foil and you don't really care about them, but they can buy you more energy, which in turn can earn you more SPS. Again, real financial value, monetary value as a reward. I think people will do that. And then, of course, you have folks who are going to chase the titles that Matt has kind of teased out, saying that he wants some like rare limited edition titles. Sorry, well, they're, they're legendary, but uh, limited edition titles, uh, so scarce in that sense, that would have actual tradable value as well, but really only reserved for the top level players. Now, those players can come in and they can burn a ton of DEC and vouchers to get extra energy to earn more glints as they play. But I would also argue that a lot of them are sitting on a ton of extra cards, and I wouldn't be surprised if they started to burn those cards as well. The Soulbound War cards for glints that could be used for these titles. So there's a lot there that makes me believe you're going to have people not necessarily deciding that, you know what, I'm going to stick it out and speculate on these cards having value later on uh, when they're unlockable. Sure, will some people still do that? Absolutely. I mean, even, even for me. Uh, there's probably certain cards, either gold foils or legendary cards that I will probably, again, I, I don't even have any, any of my legendary cards maxed out, right? So it's not like I even have extras of these. But I do think that the game theory behind it is going to become interesting because everybody has a different motivation. You're going to have some top tier players that want to chase the titles. You're going to have some play to earn ROI maximizing players that will burn it for energy and turn that energy into SPS, right? Essentially turn these extra soulbound reward cards into SPS, right? That's that's what the loop would be. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, there might be some people who just want to roll the dice and hopefully get the legendary card or you know the the summoner or whatever it is that they're missing by burning their extra copies. So this will be interesting to watch as we go along. Obviously, we're still a couple of weeks away from it being implemented, and again, that's assuming no major hiccups or delays from the team. But I, I'm no longer worried about the print rates on these cards. Um, I do believe that there is enough time between April and whatever this nebulous summertime is for the next cards uh, to come in where people will will want they'll be impatient. They will want to burn the oh, sorry the, the the cards that they have for glint to use that in one of these various ways. So yes, could there still be an oversupply? Have we printed too many? And it's going to, you know, there's not enough necessarily like demand on all these other things where we burn through it. Absolutely. But then the final piece of this puzzle, which to me is a checkmate, is that if these cards have value at the very end, it's not like they're just going to come on and get dumped by the market. There will be some cost associated with unlocking them, which we've known from the beginning, right? But for any of these cards that may become actually scarce, I was going to say rare, but I'm not talking about uh, rarity here. Uh, it, that may become scarce, right? Because people just burned a bunch of them for glint. They will actually then be worthwhile to unlock 
and sell on the marketplace and trade on the marketplace. And so, again, for someone like me that does not have any of the legendary cards maxed out, I will be looking as a buyer, and that'll be interesting to see what they come out at. Um, but even now, it's just like, well, what, what do I do with my extra energy, <laughs> right? Like, sorry, not my extra energy. What do I do with my extra cards? Do I burn them for, you know, extra rolls of the dice on these chests? Should I get more SPS? I, I don't think I'm going to be going for the titles, but the, even for me, there's a couple of options that I need to weigh. So like I said, what's going to be fun to watch is the game theory of this as we go along and see where the incentive structures lie for, you know, all the different types of players in the ecosystem. But I'm curious to know, and I'll leave you with this and close out the video with a question for you guys. Once this goes live, for those of you that do have extra cards, what do you plan on doing with them, right? Are you going to hold them or are you going to burn them for one of these potential items, right? More reward chests, more energy for SPS, or potentially chasing those, uh, you know, those legendary titles and scarce titles. And I, again, th this is just the beginning. My hope is that the team is going to take a closer look at this shop and hopefully add things over time, whether it's, you know, skins or cosmetics or cool, maybe even just soulbound stuff within the game. All that stuff sounds pretty cool. And I'm very, very excited to see where it ends up. But like I said, from a print rate perspective, I'm not as worried about these soulbound reward cards anymore because not only do we have the unlock cost in place, we will also have hopefully less of these as people burn off all of the extras over the next couple of months. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.